Hello again everyone, welcome to my second video. One of the lovely ladies on the Ambleside online group, um, hello Jessica, she had suggested that I call my videos um, tea and watercolour. Um, so here I am with my tea and my watercolours. Uh, my tea today is a beautiful, um, it's a blend of organic cranberry, rose and sweet vanilla. It's absolutely delicious. So I shall move that out of the way. Uh, see my little robin cup. Now today I'm going to be painting in my calendar of firsts. Um, this is actually a Moleskina diary, so I've been working in it um, way back since January. The paper is not at all suitable um, for watercolour, it's very thin, so I tend to pop just a sheet of printer paper in there, just to protect the images underneath. So I'm going to start off today painting um, a conker that I found one morning. I made an error when I was sketching it, um, so I decided to change that into some shading. Uh, I wish I'd left it really, I, d I don't like it at all. Um, but I'll see what we can do with it and then here I've sketched some lavender from my garden, but I'm going to address that in a, a separate video. So I have pre-wetted all my watercolours. I just spray them with um, water just a few moments before I start to paint and that makes them nice and juicy and it gives a lovely creamy colour. But I do plan to make a video about the supplies that I use and how I use them best. So I'm going to crack on. Um, again, this is not intended to be a tutorial. It's just how I work in my Charlotte Mason inspired notebook. So I'm going to start, I'm wetting my brush and the outer part of the conker was lovely and green so I shall start off with this beautiful cadmium yellow. To that, I'll add some cobalt blue just to make it nice and green. And as you see, I am not at all precise. Um, I'm filming and painting at a rather strange angle. So I can get a good angle for the camera, uh, which makes it a little more difficult. Now then, I think to that green I'm going to add some more umber. The prickles themselves Wear this beautiful colour, beautiful shade. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll just do the prickles in raw umber. 
and also around the um, shell of the conker. I'm just going to get some little splodges of colour and just pat those in. So it was quite a mottled looking appearance. Hmm. And then the inside of the seed. It was quite pale here. So this is the buff titanium. And I think I'll make the prickles here. That same raw umber. Going to darken these ones up slightly. And then mix in a little of the raw umber into the bath slightly. Now then, for the fruit, for the seed itself, for the conquer itself, I want to make that nice and shiny. So I'm going to try it with the raw umber. Let's just start. And I'm going to leave highlights just there. And while that's lovely and wet, I can drop in some other colours. So I think we'll use some Windsor Orange. And it was darker up here. And I can take some shadow violet up here and just drop that in. to add some shading to the fruit. So whilst I'm just darkening this up, I'd like to mention to you that I have actually started a new Facebook group which um, is dedicated to the Charlotte Mason practice of nature journaling, keeping a nature journal. So it's a closed group, it's for home educating families parents to receive encouragement. We can encourage one another in our pursuits. So if you have a look on Facebook and 
just search Charlotte Mason nature journaling and send me a quick message to say here you are why you want to join the group and then it would be great to see you there now whilst I'm talking I have been applying some dark umber just dropping it in to that wet wash and the watercolour will do its own thing I think I shall just add a little bit of that to spines as well just make them a little bit um, dimensional And I do think that white that highlight is looking a little bit stark. So I have something here, I'm not sure what it is. But I'm just going to mix, touch more water into this. Slightly cover it. And then I'm drying my brush out and just lifting back off. So it's not the stark colour of the page, but it's just got that little bit of something or other about it. I think that's looking. Fine, I think that's looking good. I'm going to take a little bit of my favoured shadow violet and I'm just mixing that with some of the dregs on the palette and just creating a shadow Underneath, I think I'll just add a little touch there to the base of the horse chestnut, and there it is. So there's my um, sketch of a conquer for this week's calendar of first. Um, I shall write up all the supplies to have used on my blog so if you would like to pop along and visit um, www.raisinglittleshoots.com it would be great to see you there and uh, don't forget to come and say hello in the Charlotte Mason nature journaling Facebook group and um, please share this video with anyone you think would find it helpful or would enjoy it Thank you for watching.